traffic and navigating routes, just trying to get to point A to point B. Isn't it always fun? Okay, yeah, quite often times it's boring. Because probably the way most routes are set up, it's as simple as, okay, you go down certain streets, you make a simple turn at a couple intersections. Yeah, it's simple, it's boring, and everything works hunky-dory as long as just nobody decides to be a random idiot. Except, however, that's not the case at every intersection. Believe it or not, not too far from where I live, there's just such a poorly designed intersection like right here. And then there's other places as well with other intersections that are just so freaking poorly designed. There are many people that hate the roundabout. I know people that hate the roundabout, but I do have to say roundabouts are not the worst things in the world. Now, people who live in the same area that I do, they probably are like, okay, it's not the big of a deal. And yeah, it's because we live here. We go through this intersection all the time. However, this is a video primarily to educate people who don't live here and don't get to see such a dumb intersection like this all the time. So because of that, today we are going to explore that very dumb, poorly designed intersection and why it's so dumb and poorly designed. So let's cue the intro and let's quickly check it out on the map. All right, so as you can see, we've got the map pulled up here. And yeah, this is basically where this intersection is located. So here's the some details about this intersection. First of all, it's right by a bridge. This is also a very busy intersection. Why is this a busy intersection? Because you see this bridge right here I'm highlighting with my mouse. North of this bridge is an island. And the only way to get on or off that island, aside from boat. So if you want to get there by car, there's only one way to get to this island and to leave that island and it's this bridge right here and this bridge right here on the south side of it especially has by far the single worst designed intersection I have ever seen I'm sure there's other poorly designed intersections out there but this is the worst design ever intersection I've ever seen because you have to live in this area to know how it works and if you don't live in this area you won't know how it works and then you got to figure it out on the spot because oh it's poorly designed so here's how poorly designed it is so let's quickly select this window and zoom in on it. Here's the intersection right here. As you can see, we've got the bridge right here and here's the intersection. Uh, okay. Um, did something just happen there? I know there's a road closed over here. Where's right here? Yeah, there's this closure right here. Um, uh, that lane shouldn't be blocked off. Yeah, there's a bit of road work going on in this area at the moment, which kind of sucks. I guess something happened here. What does orange mean? Does orange mean an accident happened? Therefore, the road's closed or something? I don't remember what orange stands for. I, I don't typically look at the map that much, but anywho. Oh, it just cleared. Hmm. So I guess that accident or whatever just cleared up. That's interesting. Okay, anywho, here's the intersection itself. The biggest problem in most aspects of it, depending on how you approach it, it's actually fairly fine. You, there's only one instance where it really becomes a huge pain and can be quite dangerous. If you're coming from the west here, because uh, if you take a look, my compass is pointing north. If you're coming from the west here, um, basically you've come through this little area here. This road here takes you to the bridge to go north and yeah you just gotta wait for this traffic to come through this loop here and once traffic comes through you just pull through here stop here wait for the traffic to come through this area and then once it comes through that area okay you can head straight on the bridge and everything is hunky-dory it's just fine there's not many accidents that happen in terms of coming through this way like i'm just surprised i saw that orange line there i'm like what what happened there it's very infrequent you get an accident here the only reason why you get an accident is if this line gets backed up which it does when the lift bridge lifts up because it's a lift bridge by the way so when big boats come through here this bridge actually lifts up in fact judging by the satellite view it's kind of lifted at the moment that's basically what happens so oftentimes the line gets backed up and when people aren't paying attention on this side they're waiting for this traffic to come through here because that's their instinct oops they didn't pay attention to the traffic in front and rear end someone that doesn't happen very often because that's not actually what causes the most accidents so okay yeah coming from the west you basically find the going to the bridge is a little more challenging but still going west to east you're basically just fine and also if you're approaching this intersection from the bridge point of view um this area up here is a bit of a mess coming from this way it's really hard to actually turn onto the bridge most of the time but it eventually works out it's not too difficult and if you want to bypass the bridge like say go from east to west through here it's actually fairly fine you got you just got to wait for traffic to come through on the bridge and then you basically can travel through just fine oh yeah and uh west to east 
east. Um, that's actually simple. There's a little exit that you take that goes underneath the bridge and pops right back up there, which is honestly what this intersection here really deserved. It really should have gotten this type of intersection, but it didn't, and that sucks. Yeah, as one would think, okay, you're coming from this way, but um, you got bridge traffic that's usually pretty busy coming through this way, and it'll be spewing out both ends here. How are you going to get by the bridge traffic? Because this bridge is the only way to get to this island. Well, they were smart enough to create an exit that goes underneath it without having to cross traffic. It, 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 seriously, you're just going a little further to the right and under the bridge just to cross all that traffic or basically bypass it and voila, you're set. But here on the other hand, here is a different story. In this, you're approaching the left side of traffic on the bridge. Yes, so you're to the left. Here's the lane. Okay, yep. See, right lane here that goes directly to the bridge. It does not go right. Left lane here goes, well, starts to head west, except here comes the problem. So I don't know how detailed this is going to be captured, but I'm doing my best. So there's three lanes in this intersection. Two of these lanes are coming from the bridge. The lanes have two lanes going both ways. There's two lanes here, and then there's the third lane that's coming from um, east, the east here on the side. So, okay, coming through here, you only get this one lane because you're driving right alongside both lanes of traffic. And typically, if you're coming from the east, you typically want to head west if you're not heading north through the bridge. So, yeah, if you're not going north, you typically are heading west, except here comes the weird part. So, you start, if you stay in this lane, stay in this one lane that you're basically starting off with because you don't want to change lanes or matter. Let's take a look at the path this lane goes. All right, we're still in the lane, still in the lane, still in the lane. Uh-oh, we are looping right back around and we aren't even heading west. We're heading back east again. So in order to head west, which is typically the direction people want to go if they're not heading to the bridge, you actually have to merge and you don't have much time to do this because as you can see, this is kind of short right here. You don't really have much much time to merge into this lane here that does allow you to head west just like that. That is the biggest problem of this intersection. It's coming from the east here and trying to head west. You have to merge with already busy traffic because again, this bridge is the only way to get to that island and back. So that means these two lanes are always busy, always filled with cars, especially during rush hour. So if you really don't know what you're doing, you'll either end up getting into an accident when you realize, oh crap, um, this lane doesn't take me west. It takes me back east and you'll get in an accident that way or you'll end up just being forced to go back east and then you got to basically go around this entire circle here if, you, if you're not familiar with the area. Now, now, if you were familiar with the area, okay, you just take like, as you can see, there's a couple streets here to get back into this lane here and try again. But for people who aren't familiar with the area, nope, they're probably just going to follow this road all the way through here and and head all the way back to this loop here that's currently under construction at the moment but this loop is typically open have to go all the way through here round back and then come back through here go through the traffic light and then try this intersection here again this is a pain for people who are not familiar with this area as you can see it's not the best design and you want proof of that you want me to make sure that it actually is the way it is i'm describing it all right let's jump into red fox and yeah let's go through this intersection ourselves all right everyone pardon me if the camera is a bit shaky but um i'm working with what i've got basically and the only thing i've got to work with is a tripod and let's just say mounting that tripod is not the easiest thing to do so yeah pardon me if the video is shaky but I'm working with what we've got so all right so we're on our way right now we're currently at the walmart because i just got lunch and now that lunch is done, we're going to make our way to that dangerous intersection that, oh, why was it designed the way it was? And why are drivers the way they are? L look at this. Look at this. There we go. Okay, so now that Chrysler can get around, but geez. It's like drivers forgot how to drive all of a sudden. All right, so as you can see, here's the bridge right there. So we're going to come up on that intersection. Luckily, whenever you head um, east, Oh, geez, traffic's backed up. Yep. So if you're heading east on this side, heading to the bridge, oh, traffic gets real bad here. So bad to the point where it's not even worth staying in that, in that line. Oftentimes, you have to go around uh, that one loop. 
So here comes the intersection that's uh, not as big of a pain for anyone coming through this way, but it becomes a bigger pain when you're coming up through the other way. So let me show you the problem once we get turned around. So here's the intersection. This part is the easy part. When you're coming through this way, this is the easy part. You come through here, and now we're going to basically head through. Yes, there's road work up ahead. I'm aware of this, but don't worry. It's not going to affect where we're going. So let's quickly get up to our turnaround point, and then um, I'll show you the dangerous, the part about the intersection that was just so poorly designed. Ooh, we got a cop car up ahead. Yep, we got the police. We have to turn left here to turn around. Okay, why are we stopped? For anyone who's thinking, just roll through, just roll through right past it. Uh, no, we are... What? What are you guys doing? Okay, well, we're basically stuck here now. What? Hello? What's going on? All right, well, we're not moving anywhere in the meantime, so I might as well just put it in park. Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a bit. Did not expect this to happen. Yeah, please move your truck out of the way so the cop can move out of the way. All right. All right. We appear to be clear, so all right, let's go. What the heck were they doing there? Just blocking us off. We have basically turned around. We are going to let this guy turn into Big B, and yeah, that's the one. Well, it's not even the best coffee shop. The best coffee shop around here is Siberia Cafe. Love it. But anywho, uh, so now we're going to continue on. Straight up ahead is that intersection that we just went through. That's the intersection of Doom. Okay, not literally of Doom, but okay. Uh, after that, um, I think we're going to have to find a different way around because I don't want to get stuck like that again. All right, um, uh, uh, dude! What the heck? Did, 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 did people just forget how to drive nowadays? Here comes that intersection, as you can see. Um, if you go in the right lane, that takes you to the bridge. However, it's the left lane, which is the lane we have to be in. This is the problem. This is the most dangerous part of this intersection. Because if you don't know what you're doing, oh, you've got a problem. So, the poorer design of this lane is if you stay in this lane, okay, here comes, I'm going to stay in this lane, for example. If you stay in this lane, oh yeah, we have no room to move. Whoa, easy, give me some space, please. All right, um, if we stay in this lane, we're going to get forced to go back around this loop, and... Most people coming through this way, they don't want to go back around the loop. They want to continue on that way. The way that, uh, well, that those drivers did not go actually, but okay. So yeah, that is the issue. That is the lane to head up to that intersection, except it doesn't take you to, uh, what's the direction? West. It doesn't take you West. Most drivers coming from that way want to head West and they just can't do okay please pick a speed i would really appreciate that most drivers want to head west and that design forces you to change lanes and you have a limited amount of space to do it because traffic uh from the bridge and such so okay we're going to oh geez traffic is horrible everywhere college kids must be back or something all right so now if you actually want to head west which is the direction we're going to go this time. Here's the process of actually heading west. So we got to yield to the traffic on the bridge, stay in this lane for the time being. Oh, geez, it's busy. All right, stay in the time. Got a signal, got a signal. We only got so much distance. We're good. Boom. We are now in the lane that allows us to continue west. So that is the biggest pain point of that intersection. It is so poorly designed because most people coming from the east like that, they all want to head west, but that's how you merge into that lane to head west. Such a terrible design. There have been tons of accidents that have happened all because when drivers that are not from here uh, come through that intersection, they just don't know how it works and they got to figure it out last minute and it sucks, especially in the winter time when there's no lane lines because it snows a crap ton here. 
and when it does that oh geez it becomes a pain when there's no lane lines and you got to figure out okay who yields to who and such it's such a poorly designed intersection and that's why I hate it so much so now that we've gone through that uh, we're basically going to head back home and quickly finish up this video so yeah, as you just saw after that drive, yeah, that's really the dumbest designed intersection I've ever seen. In fact, if you actually take a look at it, you don't really have that much time to actually figure out what's going on. Because once you actually take a look at the sign, first of all, if you scroll back to that through that video and take a look at the different signs, for example, coming up to the intersection, you've got the one sign that points, okay, we're going to head west. And then you got the other sign that turns onto the bridge so you can head north. So that's what you first see. So, okay, right lane goes north onto the bridge. Left lane goes west, except it also goes east. They don't really specify that. So you're already going in that lane because yet yeah, the right lane, it goes directly to the bridge. Like you can't, you can't even go to that intersection via the right lane. You have to get in that left lane, that one lane to go west. But if you're not familiar with this area, which I am, but there's a lot that aren't. If you're not familiar with this area, you might not even realize that that lane you're currently in, that's not heading west. That's actually going to head east. It's going to loop you back east. So by the time you actually find the sign that says how to head west, because yeah, there is another sign that is just before where the merging area turns to solid bars. The merging lanes turn to solid lanes. That's where that sign's located. That's where it actually tells you which lanes head west instead of heading back east, which is where you just came from. So yeah, by the time that people actually find that sign, because it's not in plain view at first, you ha first have to get into that little merging area, then you have to look up at the sign and go, oh crap, this lane doesn't go west, we have to figure out, hurry up and merge, merge, oh, oh shoot, there's people coming from the bridge. And you gotta loop back around and figure out, how, oh crap, well, how are we supposed to get west? It's so frustrating to people who are not familiar with this area. I've known so many people who, like, to have taken a first trip up here. I've had a couple other friends, like, for example, not from this area, but friends that we've had from other places. They've come up here, and, oh yeah, that confuses them a lot. They really do not like that intersection. I really do not like this intersection because, I mean, even though I know how it works, I know it's going to cause mass confusion. So, not only, yes, I know how to work for it and already have to prepare to, okay, make this merge, you also might have to prepare for people who don't know how this works, and because of that, it increases the potential risk of an accident. There have been accidents in this intersection. Now, this is a small area, and not many people actually come up this way anyways to go through there, so most people who go through that intersection, they've been here before, they know how it works. It's been this way for how long now? Basically ever since it was designed. For us, we know how it works, but for newcomers who happen to come through this area, oh, it's, you can kind of have to be a little prepared. Like college kids, for example, college college kids, they don't know this area because most of the college kids, they don't live here. They're coming from all over the country. So when they actually come up here and go through that intersection, that's a bit nerve wracking for them because, oh yeah, it was poorly designed to begin with. So yeah, there's that. All right, thank you for watching. Do me a favor and interact with the stuff below. My name is Alpha DeWolf, Random Alpha, signing out.